When he was arrested in my kitchen, the officers let me know it's heroin. We're on a journey today to save one life if we can. We've got a supportive family. We've got treatment waiting for him. We've got the whole team here. We're going to scour the area. Oh, How are you? <laughs> Maybe. Let's go in. Don't. You guys say, oh, no, no, definitely not. Phase one. Located PJ. <laughs> nice beard. <laughs> nice beard, dude. I'm bald, That's all I'm gonna say. Nice beard. <laughs> now the real process begins. Um, First part accomplished, second part is not required. If you had a chance to change some things. Would you be open to hearing about some opportunities? Yeah, absolutely. I've been doing a lot of thinking. So, we're obviously, we're all here together to, one, find you, one, to make sure that you're okay, and two, we have an opportunity to kind of right some wrongs a little bit. And we're all here because they want you back in the family, like, back, back. You know, in the past, substance abuse has been a big part of your life, and um, you know, life may not have worked out the way everyone might have thought. Not at all. And I work for a company called Ambrosia Treatment Centers. It's a national company. It's a really amazing program. And what we're looking to do is offer you a full scholarship to come to our program for a full 30-day stay, free of charge. Really? And then we want to set you up with housing after that and continue treatment um, through like an IOP program and then obviously we're going to do this with the support of your family. When can I leave? Right now. Right now. Right now? Right now. Really? Yes. I'm a reporter. I've been doing a lot of uh, heroin related stories and every story that I do, I'm sitting in somebody's living room when the person's already dead. And these stories are getting people to talk about it at least, and their family members that are in trouble. It's an and and I've, known, I've known Christy for a long time, and she told me a little bit about what's been going on, and I had no idea because nobody really talks about this stuff. And you know, I don't want to sit in another one of those living rooms very soon, oh, um, and I can tell how much they love you. Something Before like you this. guys pulled down the lane, I told you I was talking with Bill for the last 20 minutes, and I said, I can't believe that my family hasn't come like with one of these interventions yet. And I said, I know that's what this is. I said, I don't want them to see me until I shave. I said, I, and I told him. He said, I like to see you just like this. I know it's my family. I said, I hope that's what what this is. And he's like, well, what are you gonna do? And I said, dude, I'm gone, bro. Like, I, I'm done with this. I can't do it. I'm so proud of you. I went through it. Your sister part. put this together. I want you to know that. Do you need to be detoxed still? If, the, if you got a high last night, it's okay. We're not here to judge. Like, we just need I, I to get you. High. I'm just, I'm not, we I'm need not to get totally you well. well yet. All right, we can get you de we can get in detox. It's not a problem. We're going to detox you, and then you're going to do 30 days with us inpatient, and then we're going to help you find housing. <laughs> <laughs> See, we, we, as soon as you left, we ran into him. As soon as you left. <laughs> Are you in shock? I don't even know. You're loved. I never I even knew that. I never met you before. I I know you guys have had a tough, long time, but I can tell how much I love you, how hard we've been looking for you today. And, uh, you know, everybody's been excited. We all had this, like, weird, positive feeling. Even though I had a really been, good feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
DJ, this is all about you. It is. It's not it's us. It's about our family. You got to get family, That you're a man. part of. No matter where you go right now. And, and oh, I'm done. I'm, I can tell you that right now. I'm done. When I heard that you guys were out looking for me, it kind of scared me. But deep down inside, I knew that it was a godsend. And I knew what it was. And I knew that I would accept whatever. Wow. If there was anything that you guys were offering other than telling me I need to get clean. How you doing? For the long haul. Good, happy. 